Ta-da! I mean, that was like pulling teeth. Not that I have any teeth left to pull. But here we are. We're live. <laughs> um, tonight, I was going to share with you... Uh, good Lord. That mess is horrible. Ah! Move, dog. Move, 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 move. Does that make it any better? No. You can still see it. <laughs> Maybe it's just not so glaringly obvious. But, okay, so tonight I was going to uh, do a little pinup drawing of Holly Dolly Burlesque. She's one of my favorites from Instagram. And I was going to show you that I have on my Instagram... I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. But on my Instagram, I have a bunch of models that I follow. And when I, I ask them permission to draw them, and when they agree, when they say, yes, you may use me as a photo, as a, as a reference for your art, then I add them to a, to a special group in Instagram so that I only, so that I only draw them. Because I only, I only like to draw the ones that I have permission to draw. And so, if I come down here, I can show you Holly Dolly Burlesque. She's in Walla Walla, Washington. She, I love drawing the burlesque models because the the burlesque models, the the they have the classic pinup. Usually, they have a classic pinup hairstyle. They have all kinds of costumes and lingerie. They hit all the vintage pinup poses. They're just they're just fabulous, and they're almost always fun fun people. Uh, Holly Dolly Burlesque, Ruby Mimosa. Uh, Northern Joy. I'll put links to all of them in the in the uh, uh, comment section below. But uh, I just I just love them to death. They're just fabulous people to follow. So uh, anyway, back to what I was showing you. Uh, you can't you can't see it very well, but you can see that she's got tons and tons and tons of photos. I have downloaded a few of them. Actually, I've done screenshots because you can't really download from. Instagram. I don't want you to see my camera, but I downloaded a few of them. And like I said, this is this. Woo, there we go. There's her main page. When you when you first go to Holly Dolly Burlesque, there's her main page. So you can see she's got costumes. She's got the makeup. She's got the hair. She's got the 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 poses. She hits the poses. The the vintage pinup poses. And she's just she's just adorable, and it was really tough picking which one I wanted to draw tonight, because uh, you know I want something that I can start and finish on the show. I don't want anything too revealing. I don't want to be kicked off YouTube, but I think this is the one I'm going to go with. And so, like I said, uh, I'm going to put this over here where I can see it, but you won't be able to see it. And then I will fix it so that you can see it. So what we'll do is we'll go here, and we'll go here, and we'll do that. Ta-da! And now you can see it. And so I've got this sketchbook here that I've been using. I, I just started a new sketchbook, actually. I've been doing hands in this one. I'm not going to do hands right now. I'm going to... Why is that doing things? I'm going to pull my little chair up over here. And I'm going to start drawing on the Holly Dolly Burlesque. And I'm going to frame it in a specific area. If I were doing this in watercolor, I'd tape it off. Just to make sure I get a nice clean line across there. So we'll we'll tape that off or we'll mark that off so we get just a just a specific area. And then I'm gonna start with a gesture. Put her head about right there. Chest coming out and then she's swooping that way and then she's swooping that way. So when you come off here, she's got this chesticles hanging off there, and then she's got abdomen, and and then she's got that hip, and oh my 
goodness, that hip is glorious. The way that hip just comes out there and then comes down. So right off the bat, I can see that I had I didn't get my proportions right because I didn't put I didn't leave room for a foot. So Across. Looks like we're coming down in here like this. I'm gonna come across here like this. Now this is just the this is just the pencil part of it. Just, I just love the way she poses. She's just fabulous. When you get stuck on an area, I find it best just to move off to another area for a little bit. That way, it doesn't throw off your whole drawing. You can come back in, and you can get your you can get your perspective back in. You can get your your uh, measurements back in. And this part's messy for me. This part's always messy. So we're just right now we're just getting the spacing right for what we're going to do with the rest of it right so we're going to put I'm not I'm sorry I'm talking like I've told you what I'm doing um, <laughs> I can't talk Arting you'll have to bear with me for just a minute here what I'm doing right now is I start off with a gesture and then I'm trying to block in the shapes where I want them to go and then I'm going to come back with ink and I'm going to mark in where everything goes in ink. I just she's just beautiful and it's just so easy to get lost in making sure you've got all the right shapes. So like I said, that part goes really quick. That part is just that part is just uh and with you on the screen there, I can hold it up like that and I can say I can say that that's just almost almost right <laughs> okay so I've got my kneaded eraser I've got a nylon eraser I have a fountain pen this is a, a platinum carbon ink pen and it's an ultra fine tip and so it's, uh, or fountain pen rather, and it's an ultra fine tip, so it's perfect for this. But let's start. Let's start by getting the outlines. Of where everything is. come down she's got just a little bit of neck right there that's going to come down and then her chesticles come come out to there and this side of her chesticles my daughter got me started calling them chesticles she's good lord girl two is 16 now isn't that hard to believe 16 So she's the one that's got me 
started calling them chesticles. I just think it's funny. There we go. And this comes on up way up to here. And then that's where that hip kicks out. And that hip kicks out right to there. And then that, that goes into there. And then that goes up. And then that goes up. You can't really be sketchy. You can't really, can't really make too many sketch marks with the, with the fountain pen. Because it will show up in your final drawing. You can be as sketchy as you want with the pencil, but when you move to the fountain pen, you have to be a little more, I don't know if precise is the right word, confident in your lines. And there's no way to get confidence in your lines except practice. That's the only way that happens. Alright, now we're going to come out of here and then we're going to have a little bit of a line here. can't talk I can't talk at all while I do this apparently have you ever been to a burlesque show if you've ever been to a burlesque show tell us about it in the comments section I just think they're my wife and I have such a good time when we go to them the, they're just so entertaining you know I mean it's not just it's not just scantily clad women though it is at least scantily clad women and men uh, it's not just scantily clad women and men And it, it, uh, it can really be very exciting. Where was that going? What do I have left? I didn't have her face on here. And here's an eyebrow, and here's an eyebrow, and here's an eyelash, and here's an eyelash. And there's a nostril and there's the lips right that seems fairly accurate and then let's sketch that frame back in start with that. How's that? Now, if your ink's dry, you can come across here with that nylon eraser. But the, I find that the pressure that you've got to put on the nylon eraser to make it take all those marks off there. Hi, Miss Allie! find that the pressure you've got to put on there to take all those marks off there damages the paper. I don't really like it. So I'll stick with my kneaded eraser. Just get it warmed up. 
this one I need to I need to replace this one this one I don't like the way this one tacts I don't like the feel of this one but it works I mean it's just crumbly Some of my ink wasn't completely dry, but that's okay because we're we're just on the base layer. I don't know yet if I'm going to watercolor this. I may watercolor it later. Pretty lady, I know it's Holly Dolly Burlesque, and I'll have. When I'm finished, when everything's finished, I'll put the links in the description on how to find Holly Dolly and Northern Joy and Ruby Mimosa, uh, Avant Garden, where I go to see a lot of burlesque shows. Um, House of Blues, where I go to see a lot of burlesque shows. Avant Garden here in Houston has burlesque every Friday night now. So, the wife and I are going to start going back to that. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. find me unable to talk for most, most of this simply because of the accuracy that's required. I feel like when I art journal I can just splash paint on the page and go on. But when I do this, especially when I'm paying tribute to somebody as beautiful as Holly Dolly Burlesque, I feel, I feel like, like I have, have to be, be a lot, lot more careful with the accuracy. accuracy. And, and so, so... It's a little harder for me to form complete sentences. <laughs> Of course, I have that I have that problem when I'm around these girls too. It's really funny. <clears throat> My wife mocks me all the time for it. All right, now she has a cast shadow coming across here. That. If I really want See, I was kind of afraid to do that because I was afraid it wouldn't read as a cast shadow. Sometimes in ink, when you're when you're just doing it with um Cross hatching. Sometimes it's hard to make them actually read as shadows and not as clothing. So this part of her clothing is a different color. So I'm going to go a different direction than her skin, just to differentiate her skin 
from the outfit. It's important when you do this to make sure your lines connect where they're supposed to connect. It only takes a few stray lines to, to mess up your shading or to mess up your detail. Now I'm going to go this way because she's wearing she's wearing a mesh a, a, The sides of I'm sorry, the sides of her outfit are nylon. So I'm gonna go this way just so it doesn't look like skin. Alright. So I think hey Cam. So I think that's where I'm going with the ultra fine. And I'm gonna move to let's see if I have a Kariko down here. That's a brush pen. Do, do, do. Ah, there's my Kawiko. Let's hope that the Kawiko has black ink in it. The last time I tried to do anything, oh, it doesn't have any ink in it at all. Let's fill it up. At least I don't have to worry about it having the wrong color. At least I don't have to worry about it having the wrong color. So I tell you what. I don't tell you much, but when I do, I'll tell you what. If I were a smart man, I would have tried to have a paper towel handy prior to this part. <laughs> because you have to get the excess ink off the outside of your fountain pen. I love working with fountain pens. I absolutely love them. This is a this is a fabulous fountain pen. It's a Kawiko. I, I hope I'm saying it right. They make them in Germany. Uh, Kawiko Student. And it has a medium tip on it. But the tip is so flexible that I can get a huge variation of lines. You can't really... It's an American thing to post the cap on the end. You can't really do that with these. You can't do it with... You can't do it very well with... Uh, British pens either, but the German pens you certainly can't. So, let's... Is it 10 p.m. in Quebec? It's only 9 p.m. here. Cam's telling us it's 10 p.m. in Quebec. That's To me, that's just frozen tundra. So, let's see here. You can see I, I put her elbow up way higher than it should have gone. But... That's kind of the beauty of pinup is that you can exaggerate the things. Like that hip. That glorious hip that she has just thrust out there. You can just highlight it and emphasize it. Can't talk inking. Can't talk arting. I may have emphasized her breasts a little bit. A little bit. 
maybe. Maybe. See, if I go in and I put a dark line on that edge of that breast right there, it will give the wrong impression. If I leave it subdued like that, you can tell that it's different than, than everything else. So I'm going to leave it subdued. There we go. I think that worked out well. What I do with the lid? There it is. Now I'm going to stop there for a minute. Just for a minute. I'm going to transition back to that. And I have a few things let's see I think Allie sent me an easel so let me pull up I should have had all this ready to go before we started uh, no. let's come down here to easels Allie Kroll sent me an easel what's on your easel let's see if it'll let me open it, if I can enlarge it. Zoom. Let's go to 200%. And you can't see what I'm doing. 200% is too much. Let's go back to zoom. 150. All right, and then it's a digital work, so let's go back over here and let's go to screen, transition, and tell me in the chat, I can't, I can't see that, so tell me in the chat if you can see that, this is my first time to do it with this new software, because when I do that it blocks what, it blocks my view, so let me know in the chat if you can see this. But this is uh, Alec Kroll sent. It's a digital drawing. It says, I give myself permission to try new things, to experiment, and to be free. And she did it on the 28th. Can you see it? Here's my latest digital drawing done on my iPad in the Procreate app. Very nice. Very nice. I love to see... Uh, I love to see people creating. I love it, especially love it when people share it with me. So that's what Allie sent. And Allie, if you have a website or something, it ends just below the nose. Okay, well then let's zoom out. How about that? Can you see that? Bye, Cam. Cam had to leave. How about now? Can you see it now? Oh, something happened. Something that I didn't intend to happen. I can't see what you can see. Now it looks like it's just below the chin. We're going to get this figured out. I'm sorry that you're the one that I'm experimenting with, but we're going to get this figured out eventually. Let's try 75%. That, that, I think, gets you the whole picture. Yeah, that gets you the whole image. It's just smaller. So, that's what Allie sent. Allie, if you have a website, send me the website. 
uh, so we can link back to you and people can... Is this a self-portrait? Looks like a self-portrait. Are you a redhead? Ow. <laughs> okay, so that's what Allie had on her easel. Uh, I haven't I haven't been doing much. I've got my pinups upstairs. I've, I've got this Christmas one from a cup from uh, last week. And then I have the hands that I've been doing that I started the show with. Uh, I didn't really start the show with. I just had to turn the page past them. So I've been doing hands. Trying to do 10 minutes worth of hands every night. So that I can improve my hands. And then... What else? Anything else? I've got my I've got my daily drawings, my random objects that I've been doing. I think I did this one on the show last week, so you've seen that one. And then there's this one. And then this one. It's a cameras that way. It's a chicken toy. You've seen them. They're toys. Anyway, I, I haven't done anything major. I haven't done anything um uh, I haven't done anything that's, uh, you know, not big art. But I've been doing a bunch of little stuff. I've been, I've been more, I've been more productive. I'm, I'm getting more productive. I've been writing. I'm putting together a, a pamphlet to give away. I'm putting together uh, a little book to sell of my artwork. So we'll see, we'll see where all that goes. I'm just haven't really been doing much but that's what's on my easel and that's what's on your easel if you would like to be a part of what's on your easel simply send an email to uh, blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel and then I can share what you're doing with everybody else and that's what we're here to do is inspire people to do stuff so with that I'm going to get back to this pinup of Holly Dolly Burlesque and so there's really not much left to do what I like to do when I do these, oh, it didn't transition. <laughs> when I do these in the evenings, the last thing I do is I go through and I, I got to be able to see the picture. Is I go through and I, I black in. Oh, that's my brush. My brush is empty. And do I have another? I don't even know if I have another brush. If I have another... Uh, ink capsule. If I do, they're buried in there. So let's do this. Let's just dip the... Let's just dip it. Now the danger of that is... Is it... It will... It will be... So super wet so you have to be really really careful not to smear it and then let's see do I want to I think I do I think I want to come in like that that you just have to be super careful because it's so wet that it will just smear and soak through and the whole works you have to kind of you have to kind of do something to make sure that the, it all stays and it all looks separate you don't want it to all look the same I may 
I think I'm going to dry brush across there. Just to uh, emphasize that it is not see through. And then let's see about her hair. Let's, ooh, she's still trying to drip. We'll come down here with her hair. that a lot. Daddy likes. If I were going to come back with some watercolor, if I was going to come back with some watercolor, I'd make her a redhead. She's a burlesque dancer, so she usually wears a lot of wigs. I think her hair is naturally uh, might be auburn dishwater blonde I'm not real sure but in my perfect world all the all the hotties are redheads so <laughs> All right, how are we doing on time? Hey, it came in right on time. So that is, let's see, can I zoom? I can zoom, but I don't think it's going to get any better. So that is that. And then I think that turned out very well. So you see what we did. I mean, I... It's real basic. I started off with a gesture, and then I started blocking in shapes with a pencil. And this is a mechanical 4B pencil. It's a mechanical pencil with 4B lead in it. And I like this one because the every time you take the, the, the pressure off of the tip, it turns. So you always have a sharp point to work with. Uh, so I like this one for, for sketching with. And then I went to a platinum carbon ultra fine point. Uh, and then I went to the Coeco student with the medium nib, but it's a very flexible nib, so I can get a huge variation of line on it. And then I went to my Pentel brush pen. This is a travel brush pen, but the ink was out on it, so I had to use it as a dip pen and as a dip brush instead of a instead of a brush pen. Uh, needed eraser. I could come back if I wanted to. I could come back with a wet water brush with and and come through and and do that shading, smooth that shading out, but I really kind of like, really kind of like how this one turned out. So I think I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, I appreciate you guys turning out. I think that this is, I think that this is fun. When I get to art with my besties, it's my favorite night of the week. I've been, I don't know if I can show you, I don't know if there's any way to show you, is that a graph gear pencil? I love mine. I don't know. Is it a graph gear? It says Kuru Toga on the side of it. It's a Uni Kuru Toga. So maybe it's a graph gear. I don't know. I bought it off Amazon, though. I'll find the link and I'll share it with you. But I do I do love that pencil. But I can't show you. I can't. don't have a camera to show you that I've been cleaning the, the art bench off and clearing out space. My... My son, uh, boy two, has been showing interest in wanting to come out and, and play with us. So, you know, he does uh, origami. So we'll probably set him up over there to do some origami or some sketching or whatever. He didn't, couldn't be torn away from the television tonight because he's a teenage boy. He had pizza and television. So, eh, he's almost a teen. He's preteen. He's eleven. So he'll be he'll be a teenager before you know it. Anyway, that said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure and tune in next week. I think. Uh, what time did we start? We started at 8. I think we started at 8. 
that's probably a good time. We'll, we'll probably start at 8 uh, from now on. We might start at 7.30. Let's, let's shoot for 8 next week. If I start a little early, I start a little early. But let's shoot for 8 next week. Uh, so be sure and tune in next week at the new Artistic Biker time, same Artistic Biker channel. Mwah. Peace out, everybody.